Hello, hello, hello. Welcome, Scorpios, cross watchers. Hello, everyone. Welcome to my channel. I am Tierica Love. You all, how are you all doing? Okay, Scorpios. So, I'm going to get you all some messages, all right, in regards to your love connections. Please know that these will be general messages. They may or may not resonate with all of you beautiful individuals. If you find messages here that resonate, please feel free to take them with you. If you find messages here that does not resonate with you at all, then just please do leave them here on the table to allow someone to pick them up that they will resonate with, okay? All right, y'all. So we're going to get started. I'm going to get an overall message for you in regards to um, your connections. All right, or just the overall message for you for the remainder of the month of May. We're going to get an overall or see the overall energy of your connection. Uh, looking to see what is going on between you and your love interest. We're going to clarify that energy and uh, get some feelings uh, between you two. Feelings that you all are not verbally expressing to each other. And end it off with some advice, okay? All right, so we ready to get started. Y'all ready to get started? Okay, so Scorpios, overall message for you um, is something to celebrate here. All right, so you will receive some great news, Scorpios. Yay! Cross watchers, okay? Perhaps a new job, a birth, a windfall of a renewed health. Spread the joy by sharing with others in any way you can okay so there's going to be something for you all to celebrate that is just around the corner here okay so let's get the overall energy of your connection all right scorpios so you got divine union here all right so congratulations yay it's time to celebrate both you and your partner have healed and learn the important lessons to allow this union to manifest here. Okay. And let's get one more energy Re uh, card. Okay. You got safe place here. All right. So there's nothing like being able to let your guard down and know that you are protected by your partner's love. Okay. So with your partner, you feel safe. There will be uh, something to celebrate here, uh, moving towards a, a loving relationship here, um, a, a nice, a nice partnership, a nice relationship here. Okay, so let's see what's going on, Scorpios in love. Okay, okay. Scorpios in love. All right. Mm -hmm. Okay. Alright, Scorpios, let's see what's going on here. Alright, so right now you are in this energy of feeling whole. You're feeling like you are complete here. You are enjoying, it's like energetically here. The situation that you are in or you and this person is in, is you feeling whole here with this person, okay? Um, but someone here in the connection is emotionally here hurting or dealing with some things okay um what is causing some type of stagnation here between you and this person is a bit of codependency someone here is uh, very codependent here on their partner recently you and your person could have um went through this healing a healing stage here okay and you are hoping for a proposal or marriage or you know just like to solidify this uh, connection here all right um, what's coming towards you is a conversation here someone wants to talk um, about some things here okay and 
in the near future here, there is going to be some type of illusion here that um, maybe you are in or your person is in, okay? So let's clarify this uh, energy here, Scorpios, for Scorpios, okay? So the situation here, um, maybe you're dealing with someone who is very controlling here. This person could, you know, go in and out. Uh, maybe this person could have recently ghosted you here, okay? There could be some type of physical forcefulness that is going on here in this connection. Um, what is surrounding that there is someone, okay, you're stepping into your power here, okay? You could be moving into the spotlight, but this queen arising here is hurting emotionally here okay so that is what is surrounding the situation looking more into uh, what what is causing some type of stagnation here this codependence is codependency is a uh, you feel like you're wasting time or there is no changes here um obstacles here maybe there is a limited, a uh, slim to no changes here between you and this person, okay? Now, in the recent past, someone was maybe flossing their money here, maybe showing off, um, doing some, maybe not being honest here in regards to their money here, okay? Or you could have been dealing with someone that maybe uses their money to kind of show off, okay? You've got mail. All right, so um, let's see. Let me keep going, y'all. Um, what are you hoping for here? You're hoping that maybe you and this person move in together and you're just hoping for you all to move towards uh, uh, a relationship, a marriage, hoping to move towards getting a proposal here of some sort, okay? Now, what's coming towards you with this conversation, okay? So maybe this conversation that is that you're going to have or that is coming towards you, I don't know, maybe this person is not really going to be saying um, what you want to hear. Are you going to feel like, you know, um, like, they ain't talking about nothing on this ain't this ain't shit, you know? Okay? So with this illusion in the near future, okay, you got blocked here. All right. So I don't know. Something with this uh social media. Maybe someone is going to discover some things on uh, someone's uh, social media accounts here, okay? Um, this is going to put someone in this energy of not being able to pretty much see clearly here on what is going on, okay? And in the near future here, you got jackpot. So you could be winning some money here, expecting some money, or there could be um, some unexpected money coming in, okay? All right, so we're going to clarify this energy a bit more. Let's see where where's your person in all this, okay? In this situation here between you and this person, um, they got the witch. So this person see you as someone who is very powerful and magical. You are, and sometimes, um, well, they see you very powerful and magical they know how very powerful and magical you are and sometimes they think that you have them under a love spell my bad um y'all probably got me under a spell uh scorpios okay i couldn't tell just then all right so now let's see where's your person when it comes to that overall or the energy that is surrounding the situation um, when they set you free, they felt the sting of your absence. Don't let their silence fool you, okay? So your person is hurting. Um, don't let their, if they're coming up, they're moving into the spotlight. Don't let this energy here fool you, okay? They are um, hurting here emotionally here, okay? So let's look at these, um, the obstacles here, okay? You guys unsighted. 
So they are unable to see the complete extent of their toxicity that they brought into the connection because that's all they know, all right? So when it comes to the obstacles or the um, what is causing a stagnation between the two of you, that is what it is, okay? Looking more at the recent past here. Um, you got choices. So there is a choice that your person have to make and they know that it's time is not on their side okay so they risk losing you forever so in the recent past maybe this person made um certain choices here that was not beneficial to the connection okay and they have an, an, an insatiable thirst for you a thirst that no one else but you can satisfy this person is uh craving more and more for you in the recent past this this person was really um really enjoying the sexual moments that you all shared okay now um hmm, maybe you feel like your person made choices uh based on sexual pleasures here in the recent past okay so let's look more at this proposal and moving here all right you got grieving so they're stuck in a grief, unable to see that they still have the power to create a positive change. So this person could be grieving at this time, and it's hard for them to kind of see clearly here, okay? Now, if someone wants to talk and ain't shit here, you got separation. So they're focusing on their own personal journey and choosing not to focus on love because there is nothing to give, all right? So your person at this time... um, emotionally maybe they don't have anything to offer at this time okay so they're going to focus on uh, their personal journey okay now let's look at this near future here with the jackpot and the illusion okay you got breaking free so they are freeing themselves from their self-imposed prison and leaving behind all that kept them away from you okay and also hunted so their vivid dreams hunt them. They dream of how they broke your heart and you moving on with someone else, all right? So in the near future, this person is going to suddenly break free from their self-imposed prison. And, um, you know, uh, they're going to have a hard time trying to um, move past you here, okay? So let's get some feelings here. The feelings, some of the feelings that you all share with each other. I am willing to put the work into this connection. I regret not doing so previously. I want to give to you. Okay. So, and you want to know, or someone here wants to know, can we start over? All right. Now, let me get you all some advice. Let's get some advice here for Scorpios. You got twin flames here, okay? So you could be dealing with someone that you are uh, spiritually connected to here. You have healing. So old wounds and childhood issues need a revisiting here, okay? You got trust. So there is a need for you to trust in a, divine, in a divine plan at this time, regardless of the external, okay? You got stalemate here. There is a stalemate situation because someone... In this connection needs to make a decision here all right you also have mutual symbiotic so this is a beneficial and balanced connection both partners have the same feelings um, ideas and shared values and goals okay also you got divine masculine here all right so you um, indeed could be dealing with your divine counterpart okay um, there's a lot of healing that needs to take place um, but there will be something to celebrate here. Okay. All right. So these are you all's messages. I really hope that they will be helpful. Uh, thank you all for joining me. I am sending you all a lot of love, light, and positivity, and I'll see y'all next time. Bye.